welcome to the Albanian Riviera. In this video, we're going to take you from this from south, from Xamil, all the way to north to Vlore. So we started in Saranda, which we didn't like that much because it was really crowded. Yeah, we didn't even go to the beach there, but the beach is really narrow, so we escaped. Uh, we went to Heaven Beach uh, and uh, went paddleboarding there, and we also visited Monastery Beach. Uh, the beaches were quite okay, but uh, the better beaches came later. to the beach at seven o'clock in the morning to fly the drone but as they told us yesterday when we got here all the sunbeds are booked out for today and for tomorrow and actually people are here at seven o'clock yeah <laughs> so anyway if you don't know where Xamil is it's right down on the Greek border and as you know Greece is famous for its beaches and imagine what yeah it beaches looks are here like in Greece actually. it looks really really nice uh, so we're going to take out good our good old friend the paddleboard and uh, because there are some islands nearby and so we can explore the area let's go mentioned at the beginning of the video all the sun beds are full so fully booked for today and for tomorrow but the situation is we wanted to go now to the beach 
And? They said we're not allowed to sit there or lie there because we don't have the chairs. So we're not allowed to be there. So we set out camp. <laughs> the Balkan style. This was Xamil. Uh, I liked it a lot better than Saranda actually. Yeah. Everyone comes here, I think, to the beach during the day because the beaches here are really nice. And in the evening, everyone then goes to Sarande. Yeah. I kind of yeah, I kind of forgot that it's the year 2021 because of all the parties and <laughs> so many people. Maybe it compares to in the old times to Croatia at high season. But if you're here and you want to go to the beach and you don't rent uh, the chairs and umbrellas, you're kind of not allowed to stay on the beach, they told us. And the problem is, all the umbrellas were booked for today and tomorrow. Yeah. And the price usually is 1,500 lek. Okay, we're gonna have a good night's sleep and tomorrow we're moving north. I think we have found out the main issue about Albanian beaches is the access, especially from land. If the road is not horrible, what it was in the, uh, like we had in the morning, um, there are not that many bays. But this one, it is really nice, really long, and the road to here was quite nice. And now we're moving into that direction again to the north. drone clips that you have just seen are from Porto Palermo and it seems that the only way to see anything here is uh, I don't know from the water so we took out the paddleboard again someone is already waiting for me down there and let's go on the water blowing up the paddleboard paddleboard has already paid off Nice cave. the ride.
After that lovely, lovely paddling, we arrived in our next accommodation, which is in Himare. And well, <laughs> be careful when booking Himare, it is the most expensive yet, and the room that we have, nothing special, so the least value. The least value for but the most money. Yeah. And um, parking is just somewhere. Yeah. So it's, it's weird, it's a weird place. We will maybe leave text the text in so that you know where it is. But so if you book, make sure that the parking is next to the accommodation. If you come with her. Yeah. Okay, now let's have dinner and enjoy Himare. Yeah. Maybe not just him I mean maybe not Himare, but the surrounding beaches. At least we have a nice view now. That's where the hotel is. That's where the car is. tries to collect 200 leg but he was busy with someone else so we just left and then you hike it is a proper hike for maybe not in flip-flops not the best idea <laughs> yeah 20 25 minutes down uh, it looks really hot because the people that went up were really sweating 
Uh, so I don't know, maybe try to go late in the evening. Or um, very early in the morning no. and stay the whole day maybe. <laughs> don't go up in the burning heat because right now it's 36 degrees and we are melting. So or we go, come here by boat maybe or something. It's a possibility, yeah. We need to cool down. Yeah, bye bye. Twenty-five minutes was the hike up in flip-flops. In flip-flops. I think with trainers you can be faster. Just a small tip: when the beach starts losing sunlight, then go up because that means that the the trail will be in the shade. There is another way to get down. We saw now four by four cars. I don't know how it's done, but you there don't were have a four by four. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of cars down down there. And it's allowed to camp down there. It's also a camping place I think I think that a lot of people do the hippie style mm -hmm. just sleep on the beach, mm -hmm. beach because we saw a lot of people with tents now so I guess it can be done we're moving now north to Vlora we have another uh, one and a half hour stop on the way yeah let's go See here the landscape changes completely and this this is where we will end our uh, odyssey coastal of. trip because we are not that much of fans of sand beaches maybe the perfect white sand that's something else <laughs> uh, yesterday we didn't film anything but mostly because we were a little bit overwhelmed by the crowds here i think half of tirana is on vacation here uh, it, it was like crazy busy it was just too much for us yeah, yeah. to be honest we just took some takeout, went to a room, had nice dinner on the terrace and went to sleep. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Albanian beaches. Yeah. Favorite part? For me, I would yeah. say it's around Himare. Yeah, same Left for and me. right from Himare. Same for me. I like the old small towns, the nice beaches, the, the clear water there. Samil was beautiful, but, but just the water is not that clear but because it's because it's sandy. But it was and it's crowded now. Don't come in August. Don't yeah. come to the Albanian Riviera in August. <laughs> I think the whole experience was influenced by the fact that it was way too crowded because it was August. But yeah, yeah. that's our own fault. Uh, thank you for watching the video. If you need any uh, advice and accommodation, what to do, uh, let us know. And like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.